Right, welcome back again. I've got one more little tutorial I wanted to show you about using flowers. If you've seen our other video um, about actually using flowers floating upon water, this is basically just kind of a second part to it. So you can kind of use all the same flowers that you did in the previous tutorial. Uh, and now this is something you can adapt um, quite nicely and quite easily actually into just another little photography technique. Um, so again, you're not really gonna need much extra in the way of props but this time we've taken all the flower heads that we collected earlier and what we're actually going to do is freeze them. Okay, so we're going to freeze them in water. So what you're going to need otherwise is like an ice cube tray. Um, we're not the most conventional in our family for having the traditional ice cube trays, but we've got kind of like a music shaped one. So I thought we might as well use it because it could be quite interesting as to how it actually will look. So if you've got little square ones, they will work just as fine. So it's now just simply a case of taking any little daisy heads or flower heads or petals that you picked from the garden, taking the stem off them at the bottom. So it's literally just the head that you've got left and then just filling them. So I don't know if I've got enough to necessarily fill all three kind of cavities that we've got here, but I'm just going to fill it all with one. So you don't necessarily have to kind of place them in a particular way, because once they're in the water, that will change a little bit. But if you bear in mind how it will freeze, it's maybe good to have some that are facing up, some that are facing down. So you've got a few different angles to play with once it all freezes. So I'm just going to kind of fill them up and you can kind of see me how it goes. So once you've filled up all your flowers into the space of the ice cube, you can try and pack them out as much as you can. It's not a bad thing to necessarily have any overflowing, obviously, as long as the water's not overflowing, we won't push them out too much. But then you kind of hopefully get that kind of frozen action where you may just get a couple of petals actually sticking outside of the final ice cube. So obviously the first part we've got to do is just add a little bit of water, then I'm going to stick them in the freezer overnight, and then tomorrow I'll come back and I'll show you a little setup that I want to try about actually trying to get some really cool, interesting, frosty photographs with our frozen flowers.